So it's August 2019 and we're looking at the state of the mortar just from the f pretty much the first elevation of the rear of the property um, and comparing that with uh, the erosion from over the past 12 months, 13 months. Um, so let me show you some of that. So we're next to the uh, patio door um, adjacent to the neighbours and you can see here where chunks of mortar have come away this is all very um, uh, breaking away it's damaged and then we've got separation between the mortar and the brick and that that carries on pretty much all through here you can see it here and here and then when we go across above the patio door you can see where it's all separated and broken away here and here and across here and then across there and you can see that and underneath and that's that's pretty much the pattern that we see all the way around this area um, and it does go above as well you can see that some of the joints are reasonably solid bucket handle those are getting quite rough now they were they were pretty solid previously um, and then you'll see where they've degraded where they are degrading here so and then here where it becomes a lot rougher and here again and then when we move down to this you get much more of a, a more solid bucket handle joint and then there's some areas in between where you can see where it's started to degrade from that solid bucket handle joint more to what we're seeing here which is set back um, now in some areas that sort of top surface has fallen off um, and that exposes this. Uh, you can see an example of that top area um, here. So you can you can almost see that where that bit is kind of ready to fall off. So that's the the more solid top bucket handle joint, and then underneath you get in this very weak um, uh, surface underneath. Uh, and that's. Uh, that's kind of true as you move down. You can see this where it looks like they've used actually a different mortar entirely. It's a completely different colour. It's a much uh, sort of much much browner colour. Um, and then we move down, and then uh, so this is one of the joints that uh, has completely come out. And then underneath is another one, uh, and we can compare that against did some images of this from late last year and this was basically just a, a small separation at the time and that's you know that sort of uh, got a, a lot deeper um, and it'll you know uh, probably fall out at some point Uh, so, and and then we see, you know, again where it's separating from the brick. It uh, it seems to be shrinking back. And that's kind of true in several areas. And then we move over to this side. We've got one joint that came out. This came out quite a bit. Uh, had fallen out, and that's what I uh, I used to to check with the boroscope. And then we've got these areas that have that have broken away, um, and that sort of. Uh, another chunk there that's fallen out um, and then again you know against the you know inside the patio you can see here where it's degraded and then bits have fallen out all the way down and if you look there you can see um, separation between the between the uh, mortar and the, the brick itself um, <clears throat> and they sort of generally you know where the joints uh, are breaking off you can see that they start off with like holes like this so you know you can you can get a, a you know one of these tie tag things straight in there all the way down to pretty much you know several inches um, and those have uh, those have appeared in several areas even again you know this is just the first elevation you can see that where it's separating here down and then another one is here you can see where it's uh, starting to break and separate. And again, that's uh, that's kind of rough. Uh, that's the same thing. And then uh, when we move further over, uh, it, it sort of 
it's the same thing we're seeing you know breaks separations in the mortar uh, between mortar and brick all the way up here and again this is where the bucket handle joint has gone that's totally rough totally set back and above it and you can see there where it's it's uh, pretty sort of hard at the top and then it goes down to this you know much weaker area where it's uh, where it started degrading it's exposing this much rougher surface which uh, which will obviously catch more rain and wind and uh, and it'll have you know some sort of accelerated erosion which is you know you, you can already see this occurring and compared to what we took last year uh, it's you know it's definitely the case and then when we move down to this area this is the uh, the brick that was removed when Brie visited to inspect. So they, they removed this brick, took it out for sampling. But this mortar, and it's now been just over nine weeks since uh, this brick was removed. And that mortar, you know, it's obviously set now, it's obviously cured, and that's rock solid. Compared to, compared to this, you know, there is, there's an absolute world of difference in, you know, in how strong that mortar is. This, you know, this is obviously properly mixed mortar, the correct proportions and that's completely rock solid nice joint uh, when you compare it to uh, the rest of the the rest of the wall and you can see where you know here where it's you know it's beginning to degrade same here and this is because the the back of the house is more exposed than the side so you know along around this area it's uh, it's much more exposed for the wind coming in which is um, you know it's uh, it, the the erosion on it is being accelerated by that in itself which is you know has uncovered the the issue that we had but you can see where where parts of this is is now falling off and then i'll show you just above the window uh there uh, so you can get an idea of, of where it's breaking above the, the the window itself so uh underneath this part you can see where it's all you know it's all breaking away here you know you can that those go right in all that's breaking off this is broken off around these weep holes you can see that's you know that's loose you can, you can pretty much put you know something like this tie tag all the way in you know that just keeps you know that goes all the way through and then the same is true with look that one just goes straight up underneath there um, yeah, so you can you can kind of see along here where it's all broken away, um, you know, and the difference with uh, with how strong the other mortar is. And then when you look here, you can see that the bucket handle joint along here is is starting to degrade. You can just get a, a look at that; it's becoming rough, um, and then it'll end up, you know, just completely rough like the the other areas were rather than a solid joint when you look at say this is yeah, it feels quite solid but after a period of time it'll go like this degrading and then it end up rough like that which is very rough and you can just scrape that away uh, and again the, you know this separation between the mortar and the brick just where it's losing its adhesion and that's uh, that's something that we've seen accelerated over the past 12 14 months and that's the same you know you can see those that here there's all you know there's gaps where they're appearing all along here and that's just breaking away flakes off 